You ready? Yep. Just make sure you don't touch anything. You're a disgusting, disease-filled monkey. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction to idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm technically not sick, sick. anymore. He's disgusting. <clears throat> and you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Ah! Oh, juicy content. It's Make so you don't juicy. Either. And uh, thank you for also Patreon and follow official Twitter account. <laughs> It goes to Rick's um, quarantine. Uh, <laughs> that would have been had I arrived in China. I yep. would have been quarantined. That would have been awesome. Yeah, for those of like, you who don't know what we're talking about, sorry. The reason we did not get to this yesterday when it dropped was Rick was basically dying. And, That's, come and on. he wasn't allowed over here because he... Because I had a he's fever. He's a disgusting, disease-filled monkey. <laughs> I had a fever <laughs> that... The only prescription. That, that all was high enough... Uh, the timing for it to hit me, it hit 24 hours before I was supposed to get on a plane to Calcutta. Yeah. And I had to cancel my trip. Get out your violins, play me a sad song for, for me and, and Indrani and all the stupid baby I was, I was, I was going to meet at the meet and greet. But hey, I think everything happens for a reason. It's the agony of becoming. Blow it out your nose. I'm still here and life goes on. So on you and your disease filled monkey comment. And he wasn't allowed over here because no. he had diseases. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we are reacting to the new trailer. <laughs> Uh, called um, Good News. It's oh. with uh, oh, Akshay Kumar. I've yeah. seen his posts about this. And uh, Diljit, I don't know if that's a Diljit yeah. we know, the, the that, Punjabi actor. That was my immediate thought, unless there's another actor by that name. I don't know, but we will find out. And I, I think know. I think it's a comedy movie. I do too, and I think it has to do with pregnant people, because all of Akshay's posts have his face in between two pregnant women's tummies, which, by the way, guys, it's the best place for a face. Here we go. do that to pregnant ladies. Here we go. आपके अपनी वाइफ के साथ रिलेशंस कैसे हैं? अभी झगड़ा चल रहा है, लेकिन ओ, यू मीन सेक्स लाइफ? फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या है? सोलह बार। दिला देखा थैंक्यू। कितने दिनों में? एक महीने। दिला देखा थैंक्यू। तुम्हें बच्चा चाहिए कि नहीं? Of course, it's not like that in the bedroom, it's like I'm going to take a surgical strike. Dipti's ex and your swimmers will be fertilized in our lab. This process is called in vitro fertilization, IVF. Perfect, let's do it. Mr. and Mrs. Matra? Yes. It is him. Are you also Matras? Yeah. Wow, we also. Oh, no. There's going to be a mix-up. It is him, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, problem here. What problem? There has been a uh, yeah. sperm mix-up. Yes. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. 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 Oh,
Baby's coming, baby's coming, baby's coming. <laughs> Hello, G. Due date? I like Good it. news. Why does news have two W and a Z in it? Um, is that just a cool way of spelling it or is that a, like a more Hindi way? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, you know what I'm impressed with though? What? Did you notice that we didn't have any kind of a reaction to the actor playing the doctor even though we've seen him in multiple things because we've now reached a point of exposure that we don't go, hey, that's... We used to do that whenever we'd see somebody that we had seen in one or two other films. We go, "Hey!" Where for everyone else was like, "Yeah, we've been watching them for twenty years." <laughs> now we're like the seasoned old Indian cinema viewers after eleven months of watching. It's true, but you're about to die from being sick oh, so much. Good. How long are you gonna play this out <laughs> until you're healed? Uh, I am. I wouldn't be here. You should if be I, wearing a mask. If I didn't, if I, I, I checked my temperature. Before I came over here, I wouldn't come over here and jeopardize your family. Mm, you're gross. Anyways, but yeah, it's a very interesting premise. It reminded me a lot of the. Um, I should cough on you. Don't you dare. Uh, um, reminded me a lot of the uh, the one with the sperm and yeah, then, I knew you were uh, gonna say that just because sperm's involved. No, no, uh, no, you know, it's donor. That, it's that style of comedy, though. I, this That's actually. What I'm this actually, yeah, well this, I love this premise and what I'm really impressed by is Akshay has often done comedy stuff where he's kind of over the top. Yeah. He looks really kind of pulled back and reserved. Yeah. In this. This looks really funny. Yeah. I'm hoping, I mean, the, the, the actors look really yeah, good. Yeah, the whole, the cast is uh, good. And, and, so, <laughs> so it's, so the premise is essentially that the both wives are pregnant, but it's mm -hmm. with these other guys. So they're technically not the fathers now. Right, it's, it's well, they, they are, they're just not fathers of their wife's children. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my bet is at the end they realize that they mixed up again and they're, but they learn to grow and love each other regardless. That's, that's my prediction for Your it. prediction is that actually the right dad sperm went the right the dad's the right dad's body. sperm, but they have to, the, the whole funny part of it is going to be, you know, having to come to grips with, this is... This baby is not technically going to be mine specifically, so you're gonna have to be like a stepdad, right? To each one, right? And that one's going to be yours, but which is it's gonna be so it, it's gonna be one of those things. But my bet is at the end they'll be the correct ones because they have the same name and they're like, oh, we mixed up again. It was a double mix up. It was a double mix up. Yeah, that's my prediction for it. Double jeopardy. What do you think about that? It reminds me only in a small way if you've seen the television show of Jane the Virgin, which he's been on. Uh, I was right next to Jane. He was, and she's no longer a virgin. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> um, it, the, the whole mix-up of somebody getting impregnated when they weren't supposed to get impregnated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hate when that heck exit Yeah, happens. it is. It's awful, especially for guys. When like, I had several guy friends who got accidentally impregnated. It was it, quite troublesome. I thought I recognized the... Is it hot in here? Or is it my diseased monkey body? Uh, it's probably your diseased monkey body. I'm glad my tragic loss is your comedic output. Me too. Isn't most tragedies a comedy to somebody? Only to you, you macabre fool. I don't think it's only to me. I think that's to any comedian. And now you have me wondering about the two W's. Good news. Kapoor and Sons, that's the only one I recognize. And a Z. Huh? What's up with the Z? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's like a good, like a cool way to spell news or if that's like a, a Hindi play on words kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you're going to have to, yeah, it is. But yeah, guys, don't touch pregnant ladies' bellies. Don't touch pregnant ladies. There's people who do that. You shouldn't touch people. They, they see somebody who's pregnant and they just think it's a green light to go up and touch the pregnant tummy. Yeah, that's what, that's what Steph says. It's true. Did, I it don't did, understand that. Didn't happen a lot because, you know, she was really small. So a lot of people just didn't Right. Know. Didn't notice for a while. Uh, but also like old women try to touch little babies. True. I will never let that happen. No. Anybody who tries to touch his child is going to possibly lose a hand. <laughs> I will. Like, 
like, like a, certain people watch like, it, old lady. Certain people are like, you can't say no because they're just like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I can. I can. I'm the dad. Yeah. Are you diseased, filled? You can't touch my child. <laughs> Go away, you AIDS-filled old grandma. Oh. <laughs> Corbin, <laughs> okay, first of all, are you're not gonna be this helicopter dad who's gonna like put his kid in some anesthetized bubble his whole life? No, right? no, he's fine. You're gonna let him like eat food that fell on the ground yeah. and play in the dirt. Yeah, he, you just can't touch him. Okay, and like <laughs> those, you let him play in the play place at McDonald's because that thing's a freaking petri dish. No, I will never. <laughs> One, they don't this really have be fun. Them. They don't have a lot of play places this at McDonald's anymore. Really fun. And also, I don't go into McDonald's. I just go to the drive-through <laughs> for the germs. I are hate you, McDonald's. Are you a, you're a bigger germaphobe than maybe I I know? Yeah, a little bit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that that's the big reason for the don't feed me with your hands? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not the main reason, but it's one of them. Yeah, that is a reason. Yeah, the yeah, main yeah. reason is that I just don't like people touching me, yeah, much but, less putting their Well, no, hand I get in my that. Mouth. You're not like Howie Mandel. No. No, no, not at all. At all. No. I know that about not you. in the slightest. But I'm learning there's more of a well, it's it's coming out now because it's, that does that to you when you become a dad. No, no, it's it's been that way. Uh, any anywhere where there's a lot of people, I I, I, I hate. I don't like people. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. When the neighbors came over and brought you the snacks and stuff, yeah. you were really kind and polite to them. And you closed the door. Your first words were, "I don't know why people do that." 